Hello YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. Cool. So another video. I'm not talking about what a free-to-play account that has 100 plus hours should look like, right? So I've been kind of playing this game like non-stop. I'm not gonna lie, and I've been free-to-play in this game. So, and I just kind of want to give like a small review on the game and kind of just like my progress, like where my account is at right now. Um, so there was a review. The game is really good. Um, do you miss all the hate that I got at the beginning? It's all overshadowed by one. Obviously, if you're able to play, because if you're not, then it's too bad, I guess. You're obviously going to hate the game. And two, um, just like the story and like characters and stuff. Because that's what I saw, right? People are getting turned off by the story and the characters, which is unfortunate. And so they like the English voice acting. Um, no, really good tip about that. If you hate the English voice acting, playing Japanese. It's like watching like really high quality anime is crazy. Um, so yeah, Japanese voices are really good. Oh, cool, so that's that basically. In terms of my review, it's a really good game. You know, that's why I sunk like a hundred hours in like six days, seven days in this game. Cool. So now let's just go for a little bit of my account. So let's start with like the map, I suppose. So you press M and let's look at the exploration. So. Jinjo, 76%. Gorges of Spirits, 86. Coral Plain, 66. Desert Rock Island, 59. Norfolk Barnes, 89. Port City of Guixu, 73. Dim Forest, 48. Whining Axis Mire, 75%. Um, cool. I've just been going around with the loot mapper and just exploring, getting all the chests and stuff like that, doing the puzzles. You know, they're pretty fun. Um, so that's that. I haven't done the weeklies for this week yet. Um, what I'm waiting for. I've obviously completed every single quest in the game, but there's nothing else to do in terms of like questing um, right now. So that's cool. There's, I guess, another thing on the map. There's the souvenir shop. I bought that out basically. So that's fine. And in this ore shop, I haven't bought that out yet because I haven't been mining because I hate that. <laughs> so yeah. But I'm going to do that one, one day to get the 4 star weapon selector. Then... What else? I've explored everything. I locked every beacon. Uh, you see I was using the loot mapper here to explore. Found every boss. Found every hologram. Found every battle. Uh, every tacit field. So yeah, pretty good so far. I like it. Uh, since we're at our university, I haven't really gone into it yet. I'm still kind of waiting to get some more Echo XP and try to level those up. Um, and now talking about Echo XP. Actually, since we're talking about XP, I'm Union 33. Pretty cool. I just leveled up today from the dailies. Um, cool. But yeah, I've got the resonators. And my team right now consists of Havoc MC, OP, Yang Yang. Because at the beginning of the game, I got these two. So basically the game kind of forced me to use her uh, and then Jin because she's hot and she's great and she's powerful and screw the tier list and she has physics. Cool. Anyway, so that's that. And I guess let's do Havoc MC first. So I just leveled down to 59 just to get like the passive XP from killing Echoes because I've been doing a bunch of Echo farming. And these are my stats right now. Um, nothing crazy, but like I can beat the game. So hopefully. So that's fine. Again, I haven't really gone into the end game content too much yet. So that's that. This is the weapon I use. Commander Conviction at R3. I know. R3. My pulls have been great. Watch for like my uh, my day one video. And this is the only thing that I pulled. I swear from those like beginner pulls. My Echoes. Currently, I'm rocking the Dreamless. So it's like crit rate and crit rate. It's pretty cool. Um, my other Echoes. This one has crit damage. And basic attack. This one has basic attack again. Kind of bad. And then this one is a level 20. And this one's a level 20. And they don't have anything on them. So that's great. Uh, I'm planning... Because I know the, the Crownless, he's better on um, Dungeon. Uh, what you want on the Havoc MC is the Dreamless, 100%. So that's why I have like these two crit rate ones. But I don't have any Echo XP. 
Because this game is stingy with that. Which is annoying. Cool. So that's my build for Havoc MC. Then for Yang Yang, I have around the 5 energy region set. Because when you use the actual skill, increase attack for the next resonator. That's OP. And then these are what I have. Okay. I have one arrow and one energy region. I'm still thinking if I should go two arrow. I don't know. I'm thinking. And then just attack again. Again, no level up because I don't have any echo XP. Great. Then Jan Jin. Her echoes the monkey, obviously. His like attack because I haven't been able to get any crit rate ones. Lucky. Arrow damage bird, arrow damage monkey, attack and attack with no real substats, to be honest. Um, so that's cool. If like, if any of these echoes are kind of crazy, let me know, because I, honestly I can't really tell. So that's fine. Um, oh yeah, and I guess their weapons I didn't show. She has the Gauntlet of Night at rank 3, and the Yang has the Lunar Cutter at rank, rank 2. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, I did mention this like way back that like I should probably switch this weapon to have a KMC. Uh, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. And then their forte skills, right? They're all well, have a KMC is all at 404 and have unlocked the special one. These things, I don't think they're worth it. Not yet, anyway. Not until like you get these ones, right? But yeah, anyway. Then Yang Yang, I have everything at 4 and the special unlocked, other than the basic attack, because she's not going to stay on the field. Which again, I know, which is why that I should switch her weapon. Then we have Jian Jin, I have everything at 4, got the special skill. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then some of the Resonance Chain. Resonance Chain 2 for Yang Yang, Resonance Chain 2 for Havoc MC. And that's about it. Now I'm raising Verena, she's... Um, gonna build her from tomorrow on just so like she'll help me with that game basically because she makes the game easy um and i'm still working on her echoes great so that's my characters nothing too crazy and my team i guess now from all that exploration this um this is how much ash right i have sixteen thousand. crazy i also have 28 limited pools six of the weapon pools and I'm currently sitting on 9. I'm waiting to get one more from somewhere. I don't know. I think the battle pass is the only place where I can get them now. So, yeah, that's kind of annoying. I bought them away from the oscillated coral. And I have 100 straight limited pools. Crazy. It's like I planned it for this video. Uh, then from the point shop. I don't think I bought anything from here. Oh, no, there were the pools, I think, in here, right? So I bought those. And then from here, I bought... I think there were pools as well? I don't remember. But I bought something from both of these shops. So that's fine. What else? What else is there to say, really? I guess my battle pass. I'm at 21. That's pretty cool. Guidebook. It's all been completed. All of these. Well, actually, I haven't... Complete the skills training for everyone. So I should probably do that. But I completed... Where, where is it? The... Um... Yeah, this with the milestones. So that's great. Nothing crazy there. Um... Oh yeah, I guess another thing. The achievements, trophies. This is what I was looking at. 65 exploration, 88 journey, 52 battles, 62 voices. Pretty cool. Then we have... What else? Um, then we have, I guess let's look at the cubes, right? From all the exploration I did, I nearly have all the cubes. Super cool. Uh, so I have the, whatever that guy's name is, at level 10, nearly. So if I go there real quick. Chen P. That's right, this guy. As you can see, I'm 15 away from maxing this thing out. 
cool. That's that. Again, no missions. Nothing waiting for me. And yeah. Just kind of like farming echoes at this point. Because that's about it. Um, so from now on, I'm going to spend my stamina on raising Verena. To max level and then going to some hard content, I guess. Uh, I may try before I build Verena as well. Just to see if I can. Um, I've started playing the... What's this thing called? The Depths of Elusive Realm. I have 1k points. It's pretty fun. I was able to make Baiji into like a machine gun. That was pretty fun. Um, then... Yeah, that's about it. I guess... I mean, this is to be expected by my data bank. Once I unlock level 20, I'll be able to reach level 20 straight. Because... I'm at 200 out of 208. Of the Echo Collection Progress. So, there you go. Cool. So there is that. Convene data bank. Yep, 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 yep. And that's about it. You guys, really good game. Um, I don't really have any displeasantries at the moment, I guess. Um, yeah, just a really good game. Play it. Enjoy the game. Play it slow. I know. So there's like kind of like three levels of like sweatiness that you can achieve in this game so what i am right now i'm like really sweaty so that'll be like level three uh so that's why i'm in level 33 that's why i have all the echoes my data bank is full filled up um my characters are like leveled up and all that there's level two which is kind of like semi-casual which you should be around you should have hit level 30 like today or you're like at 28 29 right and then there's like the just the casuals which are like at level 20 right uh, from what I've noticed, something like that. So there you go. But I mean, any way you want to play, it's all good. You know, just enjoy the game, have fun. Uh, it's a really, really, really good game. But yes. I've wasted so many hours. Well, not wasted. I've had so much fun spending that many hours on this game. But yeah, that's about it for me. Um, if you liked what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.